Good afternoon, ladies. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're at Ogo. This is the inlet at Ogo. And what I want to show you here is not only is this a fisherman's paradise, that is, the fishermen come in here with the shrimp and the fishing boats, but it's an inlet, right? This is a cocoa. And it regulates drainage of water on the land, especially when it rains. So what they're doing is building a pump station. This is a new pump station that's being built here at Ogo. And the reason why this is important is because pump stations have become um, shorthand for government contracts because recently you might have heard of the controversy the um, argument the falling out of one Guyanese critic and his partners the Mohammed family one of the richest families in the country and it's over contracts that they had procured from the government of Guyana to build things like pump stations and um, wharfs and roads and so on so this is what they're talking about critic and the Mohammeds formed a company the Pui group I think it's called that acquired a contract to build a pump station something like this and they were being paid the contract was for 865 million dollars that is Ghana dollars which works out to be something like four million US dollars a little more than four million US dollars and the reason why this is a problem is because under the previous government under the coalition government a typical pump station was built for about 3.5 350 million dollars or less all right I think you can go to the newspapers from five years four or five years ago and you'll see that the pump station right the contracts for pump stations were somewhere around 350 million dollars so to assign a contract for $865 million to build a pump station raised questions about the procurement process. Who is awarding these contracts and why are they paying so much of taxpayers' money to supporters of the, go the current government when in fact these contracts cost half in fact a third of what they are charging now what these contractors are charging now so it turns out that this is what they're building right they're building a pump station it's usually an electric pump attached to a hose a huge pipe like this and the whole point is to remove water against the tide especially when there's a high tide and you can't wait you can't wait for the tide to go down because it's like a, a rainstorm you know and the land is flooded and you need to get the water off the land because then you get problems with parasites right in mosquitoes if you don't remove it becomes a health a health problem and that's why you need pump stations all along the coast because the coast here as many people know is below sea level and that is why the government is willing to pay to build dozens of pump stations all along the coast. What they are not do telling you or doing is is regulating the cost, right? Not so they are not. They have not been controlling the cost of these pump stations in the last. Um, a few couple of years Bolo. since right oil and gas right there and that's the yeah. problem right the problem is that people are wondering if 
the advent of what oil and gas is leading to waste of waste of money because money is plentiful right because the oil and gas industry is putting two billion US dollars into the coffers every year because money is plentiful there's a tendency to waste it and so what happened is that the Mohammed uh, group fell out with critic because apparently 60 million Guyana dollars came up missing and critic is supposed to be held responsible is responsible for it and refused to remit that portion of funds to the Mohammed group and so the Mohammed group decided to put an end to the contract and the arrangement with critic and so that 865 million dollars for that one pumping station has been put in jeopardy well at least it looks as if that money is going to be returned to the government of Guyana or not going to be spent which is a good thing for Guyana because the cost of the pump station is still around 350 million dollars maybe 400 million pounds but that's the nature of corruption and now we have um, examples of what is happening with the money now here we are at Ogle again I think the last time we did in this neck of the woods I did a tour of Shamrock Gardens at Shamrock Gardens over there so we're still in this neck of the woods and saw some of the homes that are being built some of the abandoned homes too I'm going to take a look at some more neighbors and show you how those neighborhoods are being transformed by people who are returning to Guyana. But for people who are not living in Guyana and who don't understand, who don't fully understand what is going on, this is a little um, lesson. We're looking at the canal, right? This is the canal that flows into the Atlantic Ocean. And the pump station is located at that Costa. This canal flows all the way on the other side. You can see into the Ogo, the village of Ogo, and forms a catchment for water. Sorry guys, that's what's happening here in this neck of the woods. This is what the whole argument is about. The sign here says the government of Guyana with the support of a loan from the International Development Association. Additional finance from flood risk management and credit agency. Uh, credit number is 6786-GY What we're looking at is the estimated cost lot 2 estimated contractors general engineering supplies and services The lot 2 estimated cost is 300, uh, 343 million 238 dollars and the commencement date is February 2023 So it is a phase one drainage intervention rehabilitation of the one little dial and two oval drainage catchment area, region four, and lot two installation of mobile pumps and EM fitting mechanisms at Ogo. Alright, so that's what's happening here. The cost is 343 million. 
$638. And that we think is the regular reasonable cost of a pump station. So that's the problem guys. We're dealing with a uh, waste of money, but in this case, not this particular case, in the case of critic. The whole argument by the opposition is that $865 million is too much money to pay for a pump station, but this one is being done for $343 million. Want to see more content like this? Click, like, and subscribe. In the comments below, let me know what you think about the current spending on pump stations and the like here in Guyana. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Happy to be here in Guyana. Later!